So, hello everybody. Okay, I think we are already online streaming, so I don't know if you can see and listen to everything. This is just a piano. Hello, Luis. Can you hear to everything correctly? Mm, okay. One second. Okay, I... Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect, Luis. Okay, so um, in I I'm not sure how many people are here. Hello, I'm sorry, but um, I just don't speak your language. So I'm sorry, I can't even call you by your name. I'm sorry, really sorry. Mm. You know the the other person that just texted. Mm. Okay. So in this video, we were going to show the library, mm, a library vocal library. Um, it's called Sino Sirens of Folk. It was recorded and produced by Tina Ross. Tina is a wonderful singer. She, she has uh, her own compositions. She creates her, her own songs. She has a long experience so far. Mm, wait, I, I will mm, show you something about her because She's a wonderful, really, really wonderful uh, artist, and I think you will love her work for sure. Just let me mm, new screen, okay? Okay, I'm just going Tina Ross. Her website. Okay, so she just actually has lots of productions already. Mm, released and you can listen to her music in Spotify, Apple Music, mm, anywhere, you know, in all the platforms, all, all the main platforms, you can find her work and just enjoy because she is absolutely a great singer. She also collaborated with different artists and different uh, productions. She she has also music licensed in music, in TV and films. So she is quite versatile also, uh, and mm, I've worked with her in a few projects al already, and honestly, I never mm, had a singer that worked this, mm, that wool, that, yeah, she's, she's absolutely amazing, you know, she, she can sing everything, she can sing everything you ask her for mm, at the highest standard, so also, in case anybody is interested in working with a wonderful singer um, just to record custom um, melodies for vocals or anything that needs to be um, special or specific for any project, um, I would recommend totally um, talking to her and collaborating with her because um, your music will get to the next level for sure. She is absolutely amazing singer. So that being said, mm, she has also created a sample library that is called, you can just find it, I guess. Okay, I'm not, mm, I'm not here, but I will let you know the, I'm not registered, I think. I've never been here. Anyway, I, I will send you now and leave you also in the description below the link to the uh, shop where you can just get the, 
the the library we are going to see today just in case you find it interesting that i'm sure you will <laughs> because it's really amazing you know i just uh, of course i i'm going to be honest i didn't want to check this um, before this video at least not in detail of course i just listened to some of the things included in the library but i didn't check it in full detail yet because i wanted to do it uh, today in live in the video so you could see um, exactly what could be the first impressions you will get when you just get to use this library okay so um okay i'm going just to share with you here the link in the chat i think you should be seeing a link that brings you to the um to the to, to the shop where you can buy the library and in any case i'm going just to leave it also in the description of the video once i can edit that that part because i'm not sure if i can do that right now and in any case i'm also going to show you now new screen okay wait one second please okay so once you click in the in the link I shared in the chat, mm, but I'm not sure if you can check, if you can see that link. I'm not sure if YouTube may, maybe is mm, banning these things. I'm, I'm not sure. It's not expensive. No, it's not expensive actually. It's just mm, quite affordable, I guess. It's just pre-recorded mm, cinematic vocals. We are going to see it in detail right now. So. You can just get a, a really good really good idea of what's what's included you know um so she see she says she's so happy and excited to present and share with with we all her first female vocal sample pack that she called sirens of folk inspired by the fantasy i mean world okay you can see actually here uh Luis, can you actually access, uh, enter in the link? Do you see the link in the chat? Because I'm not sure about that. And just in case, so so you can maybe check this on your own if you want, whenever it's good for you. I don't know. In any case, I'm going to leave it also in the description below, okay? So, but as you can see, she recorded over 150 vocal phrases in different ah, okay perfect that's perfect then in different tempos and keys that's really what we need when we have this kind of libraries and some of them contain words in english and some in spanish and that's great absolutely great especially for mm, people who might want something more exotic because most of the libraries in this way of this style i mean they are all recorded in english maybe so it's good to have some phrases in Spanish, mm, melodies that can be used as vocal, vocal pads, atmospheric beds, tonal layers, or simply back vocals for your tracks. She provides also dry vocals and with some effects like reverb, harmonies. Okay, I think this might be a, a harmonic exciters, maybe drive, distortion, etc. Please no, this is a vocal pack only, the demo. Okay, yeah, I you know I created the demo for her using the library, but only I, I only had some um, just a small sample for the for the demo, so I didn't have the full library that is what I have here now. So I just used uh, what I had for creating that demo, and she just says that um, all these sounds uh, are not included, of course. But just in case someone were, was expecting that, it's good always to cl uh, clarify that. So, uh, okay, okay, she has also the description in Spanish, in case that's easier for you. So, 170 vocal phrases performed by Trina Ross. Different keys and tempos, and it's a zip download file. That's great. Mm, also, I think you can see here the format of the audio files, which is why mm, 48 kilohertz, 24 bits. Yeah, high quality audio. Hello, Mr. Rerot. 
nice to see you here. We are just talking about a new library released by Tina Ross that is called Sirens of Folk. It's already in sale and she has a, an intro price of 14 euros 48. Okay, this price and it's but included so tax is included so quite quite good price I think. And we are just going to create a track uh, using the the library. Also, it, it, it's just uh, under 300 megabytes, so it's not too big, good for smaller gears, people who use smaller gear. So that's good. That's good. And OK, so once you buy this and you receive the zip file download, uh, the, the zip download file, you will find this, okay? Just a folder that mm, it's called Sirens of Fall, Bokeh Library, Tina Ross, okay? And you will get the demo, one audio file just for showing you how the how the, the, the library sounds or just to find some inspiration, anything like that. You will find an agreement, okay? Which is kind of just a uh, the restrictions you may have, you can't use register and sell her vocal library as a sole musical product, including stems or, or yeah, basically just normal things like you can sell this on your own. Mm, you need to use it with music, basically. Um, you can use her mm, library just to create new libraries that are based on her sounds basically that's normal you can if you if you open this kind of documents in any library you will find something mm, basically the same things so it's nothing nothing new but it's important just to have this clear and just check it out and read it and but yeah you can also use it for a uh, commercial use anything just basically you have to read this and that's all. And also you have here the different tempos and the different keys included. Different versions, dry mix, wet mix. Wet mix is the one with the effects. The files is wave. We saw that in the in the website. So and also just uh, clarifying again that the demo um, uses some sounds that are not included here. That's normal. Uh, also you can resell or just um, share the, the 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 license this is normal you know this is completely normal you can find these things in any other library too then you have also uh, sorry you have also the cover just if you like the to, to collect this kind of artwork it's beautiful picture beautiful editing beautiful cover mm, and the library okay which is what we are going just to check today vocal back so as you can see we have different keys a minor b flat major i guess I, I we will see d d minor e minor g minor it's good that she included mm, lots of minor keys also major of course you we have more versatility and mm, also the tempos I see are probably the most common ones, which is great because that opens lots of doors in it allows us to just uh, use this library in different contexts because for example, I have 105 is the tempo I usually have like the the good one to start here when I start new new pieces I I usually go with this tempo even when I change it later, maybe change it later, but it's a good starting point. And I see we have here D minor and also D major, and they both are using this tempo, so that's great. Also, we have G minor 100, yeah, you know, and 120 BPMs is probably the one most people uses when they start, when they open the door, so we have here too. 
So which is the one you prefer? <laughs> which one you want to use mm, for the demo? Any preference? Maybe G minor, for example? I, I just don't know. Anyway, let's let's open that while you just let's open all the folders. I'm not going just to go through each of the phrases because as we saw there are uh, 170 phrases so it's kind of crazy if we wanted to do that oh, actually we have here some extra phrases I see just in a minor and 100 bpms which is great we could even actually have this as a new folder looks like so okay let's just listen to a few of them so for example the first one Okay, beautiful. That has uh, effects, I think. And this is dry. So it looks like this one is a mix of dry and wet um, versions, phrases, I mean. Okay, a long phrase. Wait, let's go. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And you know, she said also, I think we were reading in the website that some phrases have mm, words actually in English, others in Spanish. So let's go with come away with mm, okay you need it louder okay I think I know what's happening and it's just that mm, okay yeah thank you thank you for the comment okay you know it's just that I just think I don't have on OBEs. Yeah, yes, 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 I understand. Okay, maybe you can just see here. Let me know if you hear this better now. Come away with me. Much better, I guess. Just let me know when you can, please. And let's listen also to this other one. Much better, yeah. You know, this is because I don't know why I just didn't have the internal audio of the computer unless it's through logic. Something weird, you know, OB is... Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I will check that in any case. So that's with effects, okay? The good thing is that we have phrases, which is not also quite common, I would say. Like phrases, I mean like uh, real language phrases, like English, Spanish, I think. Don't be afraid, another one. Okay, let's listen to this one. And we have different lengths, as you can see. Okay, so let's listen to this one. Don't be That's great, really. So, um, okay, so I'm just sending some of the extra material she, she provided us with. But we have uh, then classified the phrases with dry and wet. And I think she recorded um, phrases. And then we have the same ones with the effects. Let's listen to, for example, this. This is the dry one, okay? This is the dry one. I wanna be with you. I wanna be with you. 
okay and also it also it's good that she for example she just left some spaces when she just uh, sang sang things like this like it's the same phrase but in different ways I wanna be with you I wanna be with you it's different you know so it's good that she just mm, gave us some space here because we can just cut and move this for example if we want this and, and just have different things and just with a simple fade out fade, fade in we can just have two different phrases saying the same which for creating maybe mm, different parts of the same song that's pretty interesting so that's great and I think we have wait I think we okay wait I think we have also this same I want to be with you that's what she said yeah I think we have this same thing but with effects mm, not sure same thing maybe the first one it look or the second one it looks like the second one I want to be with you yeah that's with the effects included and that's good, especially if you are not a f good friend of mixing things, because you just have this working nicely. I wanna be with you. It sounds beautiful, but of course you can also. I wanna be with you. You can also just apply your own uh, reverb if you prefer for or your own compression. For example, I don't know. We can just. Let's actually try to get something similar to the effects one so we can compare how we can achieve um, a result with our own plugins and with the pro effects provided already. I wanna be with you. I just applied a bit of compression. Mm, maybe we can. Okay, I'm going just to create a bus. Okay. And in this bus, I'm going just to use some reverb. Okay, as I'm sending, we need the mix to be 100% wet. And let's tweak here some parameters. I think that might be nice. Just just to show you, okay? So this would be just, uh, we will be sending reverb. Maybe we can just also create another one for, I don't know, delay, for example. We can go with for filter timeless, for example. Just, I'm just working now on the, I'm going to work now, actually let's put this here, no not that, and this one here, I'm going just to compare what can we get using the dry sample uh, of the same phrase, if we add our own plugins versus the effects that we get in the wet version of the same phrase in the library. So. Mm, wet mix, okay, okay, yeah, something like that, you know, it's okay, something like that, and let's try to... I wanna be with you, I wanna be with you, okay, too much. I wanna be with you, I wanna be with you, okay, I wanna be with you. I wanna be with you. I wanna be with you. I w I wanna be with you. Mm, I think I'm going just to remove the delay, honestly. I wanna be with you. Versus. I, I wanna be with you. I wanna be with you. It's beautiful. It, it, it it's well well done, you know. I wanna be with you. Okay, so um, these are just examples of what we are getting there. And as we were seeing, we have lots of material here, but lots, really lots of material. Like we have um, one, two, three, four five, six different tonality, six different keys, mm, I think, yeah, and we have 
many phrases in each of the keys and we also have seven different six different tempos also it's lots of material really you can create lots of things with this Lele, for example Okay, let me show you some. It's really, really interesting, you know? It's really interesting. So, okay. Oh, oh. what's happening here? This is like... I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, so I'm just mm, I find quite good all the material here. So let's just select one of the of the keys. For example, I was just thinking of G minor because I don't know, it's a key I like. It's a key I like, sorry, let me find the piano here. Okay, so um, let's see. Let's start maybe with um, G minor phrases. Okay, I'm going just to abrazame. Yeah, actually we have some Spanish one here. Here, let's see how this sounds. <laughs> Hello, Tina. Actually, we have Tina in the chat right now. <laughs> If you just want to let her know what you think so far, we are just checking here some of the phrases, some of the material. This is Abrázame in G minor. Abrázame. That's beautiful. D minor is the best key. Mm. Yeah, of course, this is a key that mm, many cinematic music is reading using that key you know it's pretty 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 common to find some cinematic music in d minor but mm, i don't know maybe we can just change it and go with something else so it sounds different also because i think the demo of this library was already done in d minor so maybe we can go with g minor what do you think mm, okay Okay, so thing it looks like people are enjoying it <laughs> the library which I'm not surprised about actually. Okay, so yeah, so I, I think what we what we can do first of all is just maybe mm, use one of the phrases. I don't know, for example, um, lost in the ocean, lost in the ocean, or I see we have many, I, I, we have some regresa, we have phrases in Spanish in G minor, so maybe we can just go with one in Spanish, which is also pro probably less common. So, okay. This has markers, okay, not a problem at all. Okay, I need to change it automatically the tempo. So we are going to use 110 BPMs per minute. Okay, which is the tempo of the phrases. So everything is synchronized and basically Okay. And if we put it here. Okay, I think it's already done. Like, if you import this. Uh, uh, if you import this. 
I think it's already in the correct tempo. Okay, so let's use this phrase. Something like that, I think she sings. So we can just use that melody, for example. Uh, and let's find something that goes with that melody in G minor. So G minor. For example, it's just just to show you that you can find many different things in this key, for example, with one phrase, something completely different. So It's just examples, you know. So, um, okay, I, I think I like something like maybe just let's put this. But you know, I'm just thinking the kind of vocals, we can just make this super, super, super low, like super atmospheric in the background, at, at least when we start and, and then we can just, okay, I, I have an idea for how to start, for how can we start this. So let's remove that. Let's just mute this so f right now and Let's go with this, which are violins. Mm, okay. I also I, I just don't want to do the track pretty long, so um, it this is not like super super long video. So probably it's easier to watch for more people, but um, just keep it interesting and show the library well. Just violins. You know, that typical, okay, that's violins, okay, so, mm. okay, what else can we just do, mm. I think I want uh, to add here Something from Omnisphere, maybe? Omnisphere usually has super cool mm, pads and things like that. Okay. Okay. So. Reroad, happy to know you are, <laughs> you like the library and you got it. Uh, yeah, of course, I think. Tina won't have any problem with that. Mm, actually, I think mm, her uh, her Instagram is actually just Tina Ross, maybe. Mm, let me check. Okay. Let me let me check Instagram. You know, I just don't know Instagram. 
my memory I just don't remember the links I just know mine <laughs> that's all okay let me just check one one second please anyway Tina Tina Ross I think in her website or if Tina is here I I, I just don't know if Tina is still in there I'm just I'm just fun searching for her Instagram uh, okay here you, here you have it yeah it's Tina Ross you know directly if you want to tag her mm, Tina Ross I think her profile is this one and my Instagram if you just want to follow me to her is this one so yeah feel free just to tag us or tag her especially her I guess because it's her library you know I just didn't help uh, with anything here I just created that demo in the library and I'm just showing it here now because Tina and I have uh, we have a good relationship like mm, we worked together in different projects and it's always a pleasure just to work with uh, so talented musician like her but mm, that's the only way we <laughs> I help with this project it's her library and and I'm just showing it because it's amazing you know and that's all but yeah of course you just feel free to to tag her or follow her to mm, okay so mm, we were going to add some pads or and um, things like that I don't know maybe this is too big Whoa. I like this more this kind of sound You know, I want something super warm, super mm, dreaming, maybe. Th this sauce is great, but I need to put the volume down. Okay. Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry. I, I was playing. D and we said we are going to do it in G. So let's go with it. Something super atmospheric. Okay, so now uh, let's unmute the sound of the library maybe we can just put it around there maybe and actually I, I love these things you know the 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 fact that we have small spaces between each of the phrase each of the word in even each of the word it's great for editing it's like when you work on trailer music or something like that mm, you want to leave these things because editors just love this it allows them just to cut here and there and make everything mm, synchronized in a much easier way so I just go I'm just going to cut and just use the first part of the of the phrase so that means I need to fade out here something like that probably I usually, when I work with audio, I also create a small fade-in, something really subtle. So, okay. Okay, and... Um, okay, I think we created before this bus for adding reverb. So I'm going to send reverb there, okay, just to make this atmospheric. Okay, and I think I'm also going to insert, this time I'm going to insert some, 
some delay. I like this configuration more or less of this one. Let's see. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay, let's have a bit less of delay. Okay, and now we can make something interesting, maybe. Okay. Let's activate the, the strings as always. Because I, I now, now I'm just thinking of maybe the typical strings mm, chords like crescendo, super soft crescendo. I don't know. We will. Let's see what we get here. Mm. And maybe we can play later with this. Uh, let, let me also listen to this. Okay, so yeah, let's go with first of all just to get the idea. Just load an ensemble, doing sustains. I'm just going to use, for example, the. The one from Vienna Symphonic Library, the Elite Strings, okay. But you can use any any other ensemble patch of strings that you have. So something like that. She did, I think. Okay, so let's try. Okay. So sorry. Mm, okay. This is the second part of the phrase that we are going just to do the same. Fade out, fade in. Mm, uh okay. So let me just put this here. I'm just going to check how we can mm, synchronize this thing so we And maybe add a pulse here. You know, I'm not going probably to do this full orchestral, but just something hybrid, which is something interesting too. I think that intro is beautiful.
actually I'm thinking of another one, another library that I maybe maybe has uh, something pulses because this one the ones in Devastator are too complex maybe for what I feel. Yeah, matter. But I don't want it to be to have this high frequency so maybe what I'm going to do is just cut the high frequencies yeah better okay so let's go Just trying to imagine what I want. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be there, I think. Um, sorry, I, I I wasn't sure. I first, I, I basically, I'm I'm just working with this library, Eminence, by A A A Ava Ava Ava. I'm not I'm not sure how to pronounce this this company, but it's just for trailer music, most of it. And I just selected here the the pulses patch. The pulses instrument and uh, went with basic so black and what I did here is just with a Q just remove the high frequency so I just get what what I want because if not this pulse would be sounding like and I just don't want that I want it to be just in the background kind of in the background so that's what I did for the pulse we just I think we are just going to copy again the same phrase. I like that phrase actually. Wait. Okay, and I just wanted to let's see. Mm, yes, Luis, you know, we have different tools and we can just use them the way we want to tweak the sound. So mm, I just don't think EQ is only for mixing processes or mastering processes, but you can also use it for tweaking the sound. Mm, actually, many instruments uh, include these things in in their own... Uh, th actually, uh, mm, I think we might have it here. Yeah, we have mm, filters. We could have done it directly in the library, actually. <laughs> so mm, I, I just usually use the the Pro Q3, Pro Q3 more, so I, I just didn't even think about it. But yeah, you can use these things in the library, and actually you have uh, this kind of equalizer, like, okay, just tweaking different things here, the frequencies. You can just mm, put the high ones there, mid-high ones, just anything you want, but I don't know, I just use the other one, so matter wrong with that still learning the basics okay yeah you told me that you were only one month in doing these things so yeah so just it's another way just to tweak the sounds you know so i just this is the pulse and i just basically just 
remove the high frequencies. So that's what I did. Not, nothing really complicated. You can do this not not with you can do this with any EQ. It doesn't need to be this one or any other one specifically. So uh, okay, so we have this so far. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. I just double. Okay. That's what I wanted. Okay, so um, we just uh, cutted the strings here, so we can maybe just continue with them. Uh, that's why I didn't tweak the dynamics there. For example, okay, so uh, and of course we should just mm, in the pulse, for example, I just wanted to finish when the strings are finishing. Mm -hmm. So the strings finish. So the pulls should finish there. Okay. What else can we do here? Let's go back to the library and maybe we can just Let's try to find Lost in the Ocean. I'm just going to load here some different phrases in this Regresa is the one we had. Oh, okay. You know, the great thing is that we all, we don't only have the same, the same key, but we also have the same tempo in all these phrases. So we can just play with lots, really lots of material. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we have some wool too. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. What I want is basically just to add some extra texture here and there. So what's this, for example? What's this? 
Oh, I know. I just. Okay. Okay. So uh, I, I'm just going to add some extra phrases and things from the library from this same um, uh, library from this same key I mean and tempo and just let's try to to listen to this let's listen for example to this I hate this template when when I just put solo That's beautiful too. Okay, so look, we can just also add, for example, river to these things. Even more river, maybe. So let's go. It is I'm sorry, 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 my god. Sorry, Luis, yeah. Mm, yeah, I'm basically just imported more phrases from this, from the library, you know? I imported more of them, just mm, just check maybe some of the phrases I, I saw lost in the ocean. So that sounded like this. Mm. I am lost in the ocean. And we have, <laughs> that's great, because we have just mm, typical Spanish phrases, for example, or English phrases. So we can just put it here and there, and it's going to sound pretty original. So, mm, okay. Let's go again, see where we can just put this. send here some reverb to uh, yes I am lost in the ocean okay now it doesn't make sense because I have everything together but the key of these things is just uh, selecting the correct phrases according to what you want and put it in the correct place you can also play with reverb delay mm. hey Eris how are you <laughs> Eris is a good friend of mine he's also a wonderful composer you can just mm, check his youtube channel I totally recommend him just in case you feel interested in, in knowing a bit more because he is really really good composer just check him out check him out so we are composing here with Tina library which is wonderful and we are just composing a track in G minor using some of the phrases and the tempo is 110 BPM so let's go Okay, this is what we have, it is, so far.
it beautiful? Okay, this is beautiful and this can actually... I'm going to remove this one here and I'm going to use this um, with the pulse because it, it has that, that feeling of rhythm too even when it's not a rhythmic part but it has that kind of rhythm feeling so what I'm going to do is add here also some reverb just sending the reverb here as uh, basses through basses so let's see Okay, for example, this second part needs to be, mm -hmm. I think we can make it work better if we put it there and just add it in. Mm, okay, and put it here. Okay, let's see. But you know, I don't want this to be more important than the main melody. So I'm just going to um, use, I like this equalizer here. And we are just making this um, go down when the main melody appears. So I think this is going to be around this area. And I'm going just to do this using the side chain thing, external. And I find here, um, okay, let me see. It's audio two and Cyrus and Fork, okay. Audio one, okay. And I'm going just to do the same thing again, but with audio two, because I think I can do that com uh, directly in one, with one equalizer, so, okay. And you know, as they are not playing in the same moment, uh, the effect is going to be the same, I think. So, okay. This is going to make this go down when the main phrase plays. As you can see, when the main melody plays, this secondary thing, phrase, uh, goes down, and when this melody is in silence, this one goes up. So we can listen to both um, quite clearly, and they work better together. So, so far we have this thing. What do you think? Do you like this? <laughs> because I do. I like the, the library quite a lot actually so far. Okay, I think another library that maybe many people have and might be interesting to use here is, come on, wait, action, this one. 
uh, I don't use this a lot, but I remember it had some loops like this. Okay, let's find something. Uh, I just want to find something that is not too aggressive, but maybe this, it's better. Great to know you like it, Tina. Let's listen to, you know, it gives a bit of pressure when you are just trying to write something for, um, with a library and you have the developer there. <laughs> What's in? <laughs> nah, it's joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm going to uh, add the. With the bulls. one one more let me tweak that I go into mm, no yeah to to do this no 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 come on here I just wanted to reduce the volume of the click because I remember the other day someone told me about that okay so mm, also we can just send a bit of reverb to the percussion loop just a bit not too much okay and actually we can maybe start playing with the strings so I'm going just to go with the Vista first and I'm going just to record them, the basses so far. The siren, whole long sound. This, you mean this, Luis? Maybe. Yeah, it sounds kind of Celtic or Vikings. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That's pretty cool, actually, for cinematic stuff like this one. Mm. I I'm really enjoying. You know, <laughs> it's because also because you know I wasn't expecting. Mm, I, I at least didn't remember that when I prepared the demo we had so much freedom for editing these things, you know, we can cut here, we can cut here, we can cut, we can cut here, here, here. We have plenty of options just to edit this and make it sound in a natural way. So you first of all have mm, a lot of phrases of different phrases, different keys, different tempos. So you already have lots of variety in that way lots of options but each of these phrases 
also allow you to tweak them quite well. And also it's great that she included uh, the wet and dry versions of the main phrases because that that helps a lot to people that maybe mm, are starting uh, and don't really control lots of things with effects and things like that. And also maybe you just like the reverb they used uh, with these wet samples. But anyway, I, I'm enjoying it because I think it's quite versatile and it offers lots of different options. And of course, it's mm, beautiful. You know, you listen to this and it's beautiful. It sounds gorgeous. So, OK, so mm, I yeah, I was recording the strings. So let's go with the Vista Celli, for example. And I think I'm going just to probably double the melody, the main melody with the violins later, maybe. I don't know. Again, sorry. I, I mean, you can just tweak uh, each phrase because you can cut here, here, you can edit everything, you know. So I'm now going to tweak to, to record, sorry, the telly from Vista. And I'm going to have this as reference, the basis. So let's go with the telly. Let's go with the violas now. Violas, okay, I'm going to record violas. Now I'm going just to record the violins and for the violins I'm going just to try to copy to, to double the melody she's singing there. So I think she does something like that. But uh, let's record from the beginning just and just double it in the second part with the rhythmic. Something like that. Because usually that makes it feel like mm, mm, more original, I would say. Like you are not using libraries, 
uh, for the vocals, but mm, because the melody is also included in the music itself, that usually makes these things work better, I think. Mm, yes, I think. Uh, mm, yeah, I think it it has some kind of Celtic um, vibes, as you say. I just don't know, you know, I, I I like it because it's quite cinematic overall, I think. It it has quite cinematic sound in general, style, vibes, Celtic, mm, Vikings. Yeah, it sounds amazing. Ricardo, nice to see you here. It, it sounds pretty good. I think I let you the link here in the chat before. Just... Uh, I will let it here again in case someone just entered later. Just if you if you feel it can be interesting for you, because it's quite affordable and and it offers lots of things. At least that's what I'm seeing now. You know, I we have mm, I have it here. Wait, we have s lots of different mm, tempos, um, keys, different keys. Um, phrases in Spanish in English we have them recorded dry so we can just use the effects we want we have um, version of the phrases with with effects um, I don't know for example here we have already with the fra with effects um, the main ones reverbs what's this We have everything, you know, so lots of interesting stuff here. And also something I was saying that I'm not sure maybe if you were here, Ricardo, is that uh, one of the things I enjoy a lot of the library is that it allows us to edit pretty well. For example, these two things were the same phrase, but as we have plenty of empty space between the phrases and the different words, we just can cut here, cut there, and that makes it pretty useful because we can just take even if we want just one word and put it here or there, create rhythms with that if we want to spend enough time with this, etc. So in the end, you are basically just, um, yes, you are getting 170 phrases, different phrases, different keys, etc. But each of these phrases is super easy just to tweak and make it work specifically to the track you are working on so that's great and also that we have phrases in Spanish and also in English that's pretty nice that's pretty nice because usually these libraries are just in English maybe or um, yeah not in Spanish I actually don't know I think any that have Spanish phrases recorded I know a few that uses Mm, Italian but most of them are just English so okay so let's listen again and let's record the first violins I think wait I'm going to copy double the the second violins with the first ones and we are just uh, sorry, I have this here. And we are just going to double them. Wait, let's see. I want the second, the part where I repeat the melody. I want it to be one octave higher, but we need to be careful because... Mm, okay, let's see. I think this is where the pulse starts. Yeah. Let's go.
pom pom pom. <laughs> okay. So um, now I'm going to cross my fingers, just trying to make the libraries that usually crash. I'm going just to save this first of all. Okay. So Tina Ross library. I'm going to call it that way now and now that we have saved it because probably the logic will crash. No, that's great. That's great. We got the most problematic ones. Mm, also this one lately gave me problems. Uh, 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 great. And finally, this is the other one that gave me problems sometimes. Okay. So we have everything here. Okay. So I, I, I'm just going to add some orchestral percussion here and there. Let's see. Timpani rolls. So we recorded that. Now I think I want suspended symbols. Uh, probably when the pulse starts. And the pulse starts here in number 12. So let's record the pulse, uh, the suspended symbols. Let's tweak this so we get it in the correct place. Okay, and as we are working on hybrid kind of orchestral music, I'm going to add <laughs> lots of reverb to this. Okay, so something like this, for example, I don't know to the suspended symbols. Let's listen again to the pulse thing. I was just uh, tweaking here the volume. We had it this volume fib4 because in the intro I wanted this to be super, super soft. The vocals, I mean. And here we have also. But here we need more volume.
so that's beautiful, I think. Delki Music, I think it's the first time uh, I see you here, so welcome, and I hope you're enjoying this. Mm. So, sorry. I'm just thinking that maybe we can add some kind of brass, mm, brass, maybe horns, sustain horns. What do you think? Okay. And just something like the ensemble strings that we were using doing chords, something like that. Just to add some kind of that kind of Hans Zimmer <laughs> mm, epic stuff that he created in the 90s maybe or in the early 2000 something like okay let's 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 record the brass something soft tuba here already activated. Let's record the tuba too. Just with the strings, you know. With the basses here. For reference. So, uh, do you recommend any library of ethnic or Celtic sounds? Mm, yes, I think Eduardo Tarilonte, which actually he is from a town which is less than one hour by car from mine. <laughs> um, he has plenty of wonderful, wonderful, really wonderful libraries. Mm, but I just don't like the engine that he, he uses for that. It's the best engine. I have some of them here. Mm, let me check. Best service. Yeah, this thing, engine. And I have two of him li of his libraries. It's not ethnic or Celtic in my case. It's just something like medieval. But, um, uh, you know, I just don't use this a lot. Dark Era. I have Dark Era, but I think he also has one of these Celtic era, era or something like that, which is just focused on Celtic music, Celtic instruments. And here you have, especially the sound design thing is amazing, you know, is rhythmic packs. But actually, let's, let's go into use something, I don't know, Forest Guardian. Let's load this. Listen, this is great. And of course, you can just tweak each of the pads. This is four sounds going on. But if you don't want the birds, you just remove them. If you want them louder. And this is with all of his libraries, I think, or at least all of the things he did here for. And it's, it's really great, you know, and you can also find 
individual instruments like anvil, bronze, and this is, mm, for example, winds, uh, elderwood, uh, flute, for example, elderwood flute. It sounds amazing, you know. Just, I, I would tell you to check his Celtic era. I think it's that way, the way Celtic era. Mm. Eduardo Tari Lonte. Just if you want to check his, his libraries, it, it's really, really great stuff. And I think he has also something like African, he has fantasy kind of music, and I, I, I especially enjoy his sound design stuff. It's really great for atmospheres, soundscapes, paths, etc. For example, paths. Okay, I'm sorry for that. I was just... I don't know how this will work in the pulse part of the track we are working on. Two, three. <laughs> okay, we we might have a problem there, so let's let's just forget about that. But maybe we can uh, use something like one of the soundscapes or something like that uh, epic la epic loops uh, 110 do we have something here yes okay <laughs> Soundscapes, full moon. I actually like that one. Uh, Forest Guardian, I think it was. With the birds. Yeah. Let's actually start the track with this. So let's put this around there, maybe, and just start. I like that so much. I'm just going to leave it die before the change of the chord. I think that works because also it it starts the track smoothly, ma much smoother than before. So this is going to be Eduardo Tarilonte Pat, for example. Let's call it that way. And this was action strings, action strikes. And maybe we can also look. This this library is also great for more biking things, Ricardo. Not not maybe Celtic or ethnic, but Vikings. And it has, this is pretty cool thing, mm, which is kind of... And you can make them scream. But this is more focused maybe on epic music or something like that. Also we have here Tekel Arpa, something like that. 
which is I don't know a Viking instrument or something and you can select here the three notes because this instrument seems to have three different notes one second I'm sorry I just had a call but not the moment so let's uh, I hope you were seeing this uh, it looks like it looks like it has only three strings and you can just program that so I think G is here so yeah but you know this this is beautiful also you have you can create pulses which is pretty interesting Maybe not for this track, but and you have here also some interesting. I don't know, it's kind of guitar. Um, anyway, also for ethnic libraries. Mm, yeah, actually these ones are pretty good, pretty cool. The um, evolution series ones, but these are like individual instruments. Mm, for example, this is an Erhu. It's probably not the best library of an Erhu out there, but it's super affordable and it gives you that flavor. And unless you want to write for an Erhu, specifically, mm, if you just want the textures and the sound, it's going to be enough. I think, in most of the cases at least. You can add here some reverb, for example, and play. You can activate the legato thing and like that mm, final part the air hood do you like it Luis it's beautiful instruments like a Chinese violin something like that and it's pretty beautiful For example, right? And okay, I think I closed the folder with the library, but we have it here again. Here. So let's see what else can we just add here because you know there are plenty of uh, lots of options options. Yeah, who is I, I think it's 
it's been used in many many soundtracks lots of them and it, it, it's really beautiful instrument uh, for example one of them that i have in mind right now is Lair by john devney layer which is a video game soundtrack john devney is the composer and i think he used the air who in the main theme I, I just don't remember exactly the track or or the epilogue or something epilogue or I, I, I don't remember I think it was in the main theme of the track which is great lost in the ocean another phrase here okay and let's put this here and listen to oh my god I want it to be here and I'm going to listen to I am lost in the ocean deep I'm lost in the ocean deep okay mm, you know mm, I just don't want to use too much because I, first of all I think a, a track is uh, first priority is just to make it beautiful and if you just use a lot um, a library only because it's new or it, it loses its effect and i think this library this this small track has also has already enough vocals i think so but you know if, if we were going to do a longer track something much longer something bigger something uh, probably we could also modulate and just a good thing is that the keys that we have in the library are also close to each other. This is, for example, the fifth degree of this one, which is great if we want to modulate or we can use phrases and com combine phrases in these different keys. So everything sounds coherent. Some woodwinds? Yeah, we can add woodwinds, of course. We can add woodwinds. Mm. And actually, yeah, I, I was thinking before of after talking about Eduardo Tarilonte stuff, I was thinking of using one of the flutes he has here. So, and also the other library I have is just about vocals, the ERA 2 vocal codex. It's, it's fine, but it's okay, you know. Okay, instruments, woodwinds, and other wood flute, and this. Okay, I know how it this works. Okay. So maybe for the intro actually. Okay, maybe maybe not that much. Just like kind of atmospheric, maybe. Eduardo Tarilonte flute. And maybe this can also use lots of reverb, like super atmospheric one. So I'm just going to add here mm, the bass with a reverb and send a lot. Okay, and if you meant this kind of woodwinds, yes, of course we can go with the orchestral ones. Maybe flutes. I think actually we could double the violins. So this is the violins. 
for just reference. Let's, let's record that. Let's see. G minor. G minor, yes. One octave higher. So that's the flute. We can also play with the oboes. Maybe in the beginning too. It's beautiful, especially the flutes. I think they give it a beautiful sound. So let's put them a bit. Let's put them a bit louder. Mm, maybe we can also add some bassoons to in sustains, just to add some deepness to the sound. Some deep. Let's see for reference. Okay, more or less, you know, I, I just think I made some mistakes in the bassoons, but mm, not a big deal, not, not a big problem because, yeah, it's easy to tweak. Okay, just, alright, okay. So, yeah, we could keep adding things here, maybe trombones too in the pulse part actually let's let's add the, the trombones here i think Let, let's see where we can add it for reference strings example I like this 
let's add now I think okay maybe I, I'm going just to try how this would sound with the junky Excel horns instead of the mm, sustains instead of the cinebras ones that is the ones we are using here we're using cinebras sonor this one and I want to try instead the um, mm -hmm. hello Junquero hola Junquero <laughs> Mm, yeah, sí, estamos aquí, estamos componiendo un tema para una cantante que se llama Tina Ross, que ha sacado una librería. You know, excuse me that I speak Spanish in a, for a moment. And basically just... Eh, and me refiero que le estoy haciendo una, un tema mostrando la librería, que es la verdad muy chulo, la puedes ver ahí, de hecho. Estoy compartiendo de vez en cuando el link para que pueda verlo todo el mundo, pero... Pero vamos, que es, es bastante interesante. ¿eh? Son frases muy chulas y, y en muchas tonalidades, tempos distintos, con lo cual es interesante. Uh, y vuelvo a inglés, que es, que es, el, que es el idioma que estábamos hablando aquí, porque no sé, creo que hay gente que no habla español. So, going back to, to English. <laughs> yeah, you know, eh, Junquero is just eh, in a composer's group that I am also a member of and we just know each other from different things in the in the chat in that whatsapp group so it's always good to see people you know here so uh, i was saying that i was going to try the junkie excel brass for the horns instead of cine brass sonore <laughs> okay, Luis. Yeah, I think many people speak both, but mm, you know, just if if many people is speaking both languages, and there are a few that maybe only speak English, and especially if someone see these videos after some time, mm, probably they will only speak English. So I just want to make this mm, available for the most number of people possible so but of course we could also do something in spanish if you prefer it for me it's much more comfortable because that's my my language actually so english is just not it's just completely secondary language for me it's not i i just learned it in school and kept using it in this job but not my main language at all i, I think it's obvious anyway mm, Let's try these horns. It sounds too big. Yeah, exactly. That's the idea just getting to more and more people <clears throat> it's going to be better i guess if we do this in english but of course we can also create something in spanish so mm, that's not a problem okay so let's go back and just use I i'm going to mute the sustain horns from the cinebras sonor and i'm going to use instead the Junkie XL ones. So let's go with Junkie XL.
Ok. Cuando quieras. <ríe> Venga, un abrazo. Uh, ok. So. This is Junkie Excel Horns. Mm, ok. Because choir may, might be too much to add here. Just. I don't feel we need it. Honestly. I'm going just to check if we can maybe add something else from something else from maybe Omnisphere. What do you think? You know, I just didn't want to make this track longer, actually. Not because I think it's perfect this way, not at all. I would actually think it needs more, but just to make uh, the video interesting and it's already actually, mm, we are already two hours almost, so I think it's going to be enough, especially because I think we can already see the put the, the power of the library we are showing, like the Tina Ross, Sirens of Folk. I think we already can see what it would allow us to do. No. I usually like this kind of sounds in Omnisphere. <laughs> it's amazing. This is by Trillian, which is another one I have. It's focused on basses. I like this. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's just try to do. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. I'm just going to create some arpeggios here. No, not you, but you. Come on. Okay, I'm not going to complicate it. But maybe not this. Maybe not this sound then. For the pulse part, I mean. Let's see how this works in the in the pulse part, in the pulse part. Not bad, okay, it's too loud, I guess. And we need it to f finish here. Where are you? Here. Here. We want it to finish here. You know, I'm just tweaking the thing I just created. I, this should be end here. And just to make it... Mm, I'm going just to find the correct volume first of all. Six, okay. I'm going just to make this. Come on, what happens here? I don't know what's happening. Come on. Come on, oh my god. Sorry, I just forgot. I just to take. I just selected the wrong tool I wanted. Okay, so. I just double this because I want to use the same pulse thing. But of course, I just want the arpeggiator. 
So we can maybe just find something different. This can be interesting if we play that way. Let's see. So this thing here and okay so maybe we can just basically add some little details like maybe I don't know something mm, like subheats and things like that from trailer stuff we used these ones in the Narnia track the other day subheats Okay, but let's reduce the volume quite a lot. Okay, not there, not there. Maybe there. I think it was the third one, the good, this one, oh, no, it was this one, I guess, let's see. So I think this is the track, we are going to leave it here if you don't mind. I think it already gives a, a really nice idea of what can be achieved with the library. Mm, it has tons of different options as you saw, we only used a few, and a few of one of the keys, so mm, I think this open a lot of possibilities for any media composer, any any composer that is going to do modern cinematic music. More like mm, we were saying it has some kind of Celtic be vibes, Celtic, Vikings, Vikings vibes. <laughs> you know, all this modern cinematic music, like epic stuff to mm, trailer music, probably for the intros, 
things like that and it offers lots of possibilities also mm, sharing yeah exactly it has a lot of potential i think luis i agree with you and also that we have all uh, most of the phrases or at least the ones that have mm, junto a ti uh, por siempre por siempre actually actually por siempre. We, we have phrases in both in, in, with effects and without effects and it looks like por siempre Let, let's listen to this actually I, i'm going just to import por siempre i'm going to put it there Okay, let's listen to this. Por siempre. That's beautiful because also it makes sense with some of the Spanish phrases we had. It was like what Okay, we could, for example, instead of say, regresa a mí una vez más, I think it's what she says, mm, here. Una vez más, yes. So uh, actually in the mix we should just, yeah, we can, we can change uh, for example, una vez más, por siempre. I would say para siempre, <laughs> but I guess it makes sense <laughs> anyway. So mm, it's great, you know. You 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 have plenty of stuff just to to play with it and tweak it as we did here because these were phrases. These phrases, these two, for example, were from the same phrase. These two, same phrase two. These were the same phrase, but we just tweak it and separate it to make it fit the tempo and things we were doing. So it opens a lot of uh, doors and a lot of opportunities just to create something pretty unique. So I totally recommend it and I think it sounds amazing. It sounds really be beautiful. Uh, Tina's voice is, is wonderful, completely. So I totally recommend it, really. It's also not expensive at all. Just uh, as, we, as we were checking here, it's just like, uh, wait, I'm going just to a new screen. Uh, I don't know what happened. Yeah, it's this one, you know. It's just less than 15 euros. And you get a lot of material just to, to add to your tools and your mm, possibilities. So I think that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's listen again to the final uh, Bard 16. Let me see. You, you mean the uh, um, that thing, Boris, Joris? Mm, I think I have Melodyne here. In any case, it might be maybe a bit. I don't know. Let me check. I think I have Melodyne here. Mm, what's the company of Melodyne? Come on. What's the company of Melodyne? I always forget uh, because I just don't work too much with this one. I don't work too much with voices often. So, okay. Sorry. Okay. Um, I guess we can just see. I think it's this way. Ok, 
okay, so you mean na 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 It's not too much. It's you know, and I even don't really care about these things unless okay, if if it's not good. If it's not too much, I actually even like that because it gives some realism. Mm, let's see. Um, how this... I, I just don't remember it. I don't remember exactly how this worked. It's in the limit, yeah. I just didn't find that annoying. You know, it's it it's not when like when you receive something that is actually really 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 so so much out of pitch. That happens and we don't want reggaeton sound here in the voices so but you know even if if that became annoying to you in any phrase it's super easy to tweak as you can see let's put this in solo and let's see wait when I put the solo you know it's a beat maybe but mm, it's not annoying to me, George. I don't know. And as you can see, it's quite easy just to tweak in any case. So the ta the tablet, tablet, you mean the iPad here I have. Yeah, I have. Actually, it's not it's not the template touch O is C. It's Logic Remote. You know Logic? Uh, I don't know. I think you, you, commented, you mentioned the other day you were using Reaper, maybe? I don't know, we were talking about different DAW mm, software and each one was, was using something different. I think Joris was using also uh, probably Logic Pro, or I may, I may be confusing that. But yes, this is just... Mm, uh, wait, let me, let me see if I can maybe tweak this. I think, I think you should be watching this uh, clearly now. And you know, this is just a iPad. It's an iPad Air. I think I bought this tablet last year, I think. And basically I just have here the different, different shortcuts. So for example, these are the ones I use more. Recording, just play, stop, uh, just ad advancing the track, go back, a uh, new software um, instrument, re uh, redo, undo, <laughs> markers, uh, just zoom, although I, I, I work with the zoom, I, I use the zoom um, with the keyboard of the, of the Mac, you know, and then just uh, separate passages, just bounce in situ, um, one octave higher, one octave lower, just to transpose, etc. I just pose you to join different passages. Mm. I don't know. And then these ones, I just don't use them. I, I created them. I have tons of them, but I, I just basically use the first one. And yes, this is useful. Also, it, it helps you go faster, you know? It, it helps you go mm, just move. Uh, faster 
in your workflow it becomes much much more um, I don't know it, it's it's just faster you know so that's all because I now for example the stop play stop again and it goes back to the place where I have the loop so I just don't know I, this is the track if you want we can just um, we can just uh, play it from the beginning and we stop here. Let's go. So that would be the track and I hope you got a nice idea of the library. Mm, I will let the link in any case in just if someone is interested in it. So you can just mm, get it here directly from Tina. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful, interesting and I hope to hear if, if someone of you, of course, just decide to, to buy the library, just uh, please feel free to tag Tina in Instagram or YouTube or anywhere if you upload the track you create with it. So that's all for today, I think. So hopefully you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. And yes, Ricardo, it's it's really, really very very easy to configure the logic remote thing you can also do it in an iphone if you have an iphone so that's that's all i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you in the next one bye